Welcome everybody to uh, Miniature Reenactments. We're doing a computer version. Uh, we're going through Napoleon's battles and we're going to uh, start here with Lodi. We have Cliff who uh, did has a doctorate in Napoleon's battles and he, he uh, focused on uh, the Italian campaign. So we're going to do this. We're going to look at the uh, introduction video and then we'll get into it. Turin laid my sights. The Piedmontese let my army pass. The Austrians under Beaulieu fell back on Milan. I pressed hard and caught them at Lodi. Sebotendorf can read a battlefield. He can see that I must send men over the only bridge across the river Po and take on his men on the east bank. But can he see what is coming next? Turin laid my right, sights. So let's, uh, we're going to start the battle. It ended at... Uh, into the explanation there. So you can see the map here. So how about Cliff goes, you know, the blue here is the French and the red is your, uh, is the enemy. It's the Austrians. The Austrians. Under Johann de Beaulieu. Okay. Uh, so we'll see the setup here in a second, but for now, you know, this is the map you can kind of get a sense. I guess the, this is a main bridge and mm -hmm. this is like a couple smaller ones. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna get a uh, real sense, and basically, yeah, Napoleon apparently has to get across that bridge to continue his campaign. 1796. Government is not reason, it is not eloquent, it is force. Like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Oh, I guess it was George Washington, but I don't know why that's in, George Washington quote is in a Napoleon thing. I think they need to start. Brothers from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. I think I think they need to start quoting you, Troy. Okay. So, all right. So here we go. Here's our uh, Napoleon's forces. Here we have. Oh, I'm having difficulty moving. The, oh, it's not allowing me to move the the mouse around. But so we'll look at our own forces here. Six pounder horse artillery in the back. We have. How do we revolutionary infantry? I was going to say, how do we pronounce that French word? You know, revolutionary. Yeah. Fusiliers of a wine, grenadiers, Lombard, Crisp Sisson Oh, and Chasseurs. Chasseur. Napoleon is there. Dragoons, Chasseurs, Dragoons. Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything we should know about any of these forces? Okay. They are. Um... The Lombardy Legion, these are Italians that have been brought into the French army. This is one of the, part of the revolution was they were creating republics everywhere they went. And the Cisalpine Republic is, is a, basically a, a puppet government run by the French and set up and say, that you're Italians and you're now free to do what you want as long as you do what you tell you. <laughs> That's freedom. <laughs> well, it's freedom out of the barrel of gun. <laughs> so, now the units you're looking at is, um, um, they, uh, they point out is chasseurs that come in two groups. The chasseurs a pied, foot, so they're light troops, but they're on foot. And you have chasseurs a cheval, horse, horse light, they're light troops, but they're horsemen. And um, this is probably the heaviest, the, well, the heavier unit are the Dragoons. And these are basically, mount, uh, Dragoons are mounted infantry. They are able to fight on, uh, on foot and on horseback. And uh, the cavalry, Napoleon in this period, is the weakest part of his, of his army. His strongest part is his grenadiers and his artillery. Napoleon trained as an artillery officer, and so he's very, uh, the artillery play a, a very important part in the Battle of Lodi. Now I find it interesting, it's all horse artillery here. Well, th they're fast. You can drive, you can run them up right up to the, right up to the front of battle. And if the enemy starts a charging, uh, a trying to attack you, usually infantry, you can load, limber them up, get them out of the way quickly. Heavy are most artillery, what, what makes Napoleon's army move so fast is everything. Is his, his horses, his uh, horse artillery is there, and 
the major artillery parks that he has later with uh, just major, uh, they are not horse artillery. These are usually the kept up with the uh, smaller units, the horse artillery, with the, his cores. Okay, and so this is one of his cores, so they're the ones that kept up. Well, it's, this is the beginning of the core army uh, concept. It's, uh, it's the very beginning. It doesn't come to full fruition until it becomes the emperor. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rest. I think I have to start the battle in order to see it. Oh, May 10th, 1796. Oh, After okay. two days of forced marching, Nicole my army has caught the retreating coming. Austrian yeah. army at Lodi. This is the time to strike. The Austrian rear guard is separated from the main army and vulnerable until it can reach the safety of the town. General Beaulieu is forced to stay on the battlefield to oversee the Austrian retreat. We must capture or kill the Austrian general and much of his force to end Austrian interests in northwest Italy. If Beaulieu is removed, the French can pen the Austrians in Lombardy into the fortress at Mantua. I must prevent Beaulieu from escaping the battlefield. All right, so I'm going to pause right here. Uh, I have the headphones on so I could hear Napoleon while the others could not. Uh, but it was essentially saying in the uh, Napoleon was essentially saying that he has to capture the enemy general uh, before he escapes. How, now, is how's that in terms of uh, historical information? Well, it's, that's not really necessary to capture the enemy general. What he needs, what in reality he needs to get across that bridge into, so he can open so his army can get into the, the breadbasket of of Italy, Milan, more. And if he can get into if he can get there, he can come he can um, he can feed his army, um, you know, resupply, re equip, and um, you know, part of the game is to capture the capture the general. He never really in the in the war, he never really caught Oh, okay, so maybe they're just setting it up as something you want to do as yeah. a player. But yeah. And this looks like this is the main bridge. Yes. That's where he wants to cross over, but he has also got a ford over here. Oh, I guess just yeah. a couple of fords, yeah. which are not as good, of course, as a bridge. But Well, if you, if you, when the, the thing is, you're going to want a ford, and okay. that's where you're going to want your, you're going to you want to use the Dragoons. So they can come across here, mm -hmm. and if there are light enough forces here, they can come either charge them with saber or dismount and fight them with, with muskets. All right. Well, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, give our guys orders and try to do this as, as much like the actual war as possible, or the actual battle. Uh, where should I send my forces here that would be like Napoleon? Well, I need to see where this... Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, we got uh, the Chassiers, Humbery, Grenadiers. In fact, you can see at the top the little thing there that shows that they're grenadiers, mm -hmm. and then that shows their infantry, oh. and that shows that they're special kind of infantry. Okay. And then over here you have Napoleon with the little star, and then uh, the filled-in one that means it's heavy cav, mm -hmm. and the outline one that means it's light cav. Okay. And of course, this is the artillery. Well, what your main objective here is to get to the bridge. If your main objective in the in, in actual battle is to get across the bridge, your objective now is to capture General Bolu. And so what you need to do is send in your light troops first. All right, and I think that's these guys, is that right, yeah. the Lombardy? All right. Now should we should we do, because you, you were saying actually, and we were saying it off camera, you were telling me about a main strategy that Napoleon had, which was to place a skirmish line in the front yeah. and then merge everybody else in column. This would be kind of yeah. like the column, right? Yeah. So, okay, so how about let's you try should, to do that. You want to get your, uh, your light troops, the, the chasseurs, uh -huh. and the, 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 uh -huh. the, the Lombardy Legion. I'm going to get them out front. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. In fact, actually, what, uh, you were saying about putting them in skirmish. Would mm -hmm. that be the best thing? All right, let's put them in skirmish and let's put them up here. And then the others will wait behind, and they'll move up behind. Should we wait on the cavalry, or do you want to? Yeah, you want to keep them. Yeah. You want to. You need to scout over here to see who these guys are, especially who this group is. All right. Actually, I think we already know. Yeah, there's Landfair. Okay. We can the, see them, and that's Grenadiers because they have a little uh, 
Okay, those are grenadiers. So. It seems like they. Oh, uh oh. That was an accident here, just a second. Let me stop them. There we go. I accidentally sent them forward. Anyway, um, so it looks like they just are sort of scattered because they have Landwehr, Landwehr, Grenadiers, Grinzers. Okay, yeah. your Grinzers, your Grenadiers are going to be the toughest. The Grinzers are, the, are, are your Rangers. They're the ones with the best shots. Okay. The Landwehr troops, these are like the National Guard. Okay. They're not as well trained and one. You, you're gonna if you have a chance to break them up, you should break them up. Okay. So you know because they'll if they get behind the grenadiers, they'll add weight, but they're not gonna be able to take on your grenadiers or your chasseurs, you know. But uh, well, you, you need to pepper them with a little artillery. Okay, I'm trying to think what happened historically though. Do you know like to that detail, or is it pretty much just go it's after been, the bridge? It's been 30 years since I wrote oh. this. <laughs> All right, well let's let's go ahead and try to do their classic kind of fight. Mm -hmm. Actually, their artillery looks like it might be on a hill, mm -hmm. so we could probably, yeah, we can probably like place it right where it is yeah. and let it just start bombarding them or lombarding them. Ah! Yeah. But you want to take what you want to do. It's capture the bridge. You want to capture that bridge first. All right. So that's and uh, if you can capture the bridge before they get across, the only way to, to end this really quickly is you get both sides of the bridge. All right. If you got both sides of the bridge, the Austrians have nowhere to go. They have to come to you, and you can take your time, take them out. All right. Well, how about let's do that. Let's do this. Let's put these guys in. You know, that regular uh, formation. Uh, we're going to march up to here, and then we're going to charge. We're basically going to use these two uh, troops as the um, skirmishers to shoot at them, and then we're going to use these columns to try to charge through. Yeah. Does that sound good? Actually, let's take a look at these French troops, by the way, while we're... Oh, it looks like they're barefoot. Yeah, they are. They are? Well, why, are they, why don't they have shoes? Because, the, like I said, this army's starving. Wow. They're, some of these guys have not even got muskets. And look, like this guy, well, I mean, actually, look at their pants, they're terrible. Yeah. Like, this guy looks all discouraged, like he's ready to kill himself They're tired, right now. They're, they're, they're hungry, tired, discouraged. Uh, a lot of them are not, not particularly happy. You even have several royalist regiments in there that do not like being part of the Republic. Wow. And so, this is not a happy, this is not a happy crew. He has to take, get into Milan to wow. feed the army. Esther, if they, if they can hold him out, and winter comes, the army will disappear. Well, it looks like this guy here is ready to fart. He, yeah. All he's had for days is beans. If that. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's over here like, are you serious with this stuff? Yes. I'm... At one point, the army was mixing flour with sawdust to oh. make the bread. Really? Wow. That's how bad That's how bad things got. It's so bad, it looks like this guy's about to sing Les Miserables. Yeah. <laughs> wow, all right. Well, let's take a look and see how this battle goes. It's gonna and be those now. are the grenadiers. That's a grenadier. Yeah, that's your, that's your good troops. Yeah. Hey, let's take a quick look at our bad troops then. I'm just expecting to see, like, kids. Okay. Well, actually, they look almost better. Which group is this? This is the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Lombard. The Lombardy. Yeah, these well, are Italian troops. I guess they are closer to home. Yeah. And chasseurs. Chasseurs. You've got better shoes. Yeah, he looks like it. So yeah, you want to be part of those chasseurs. And then of course, here's the cavalry. They don't need shoes, but they have them. They should be giving them to the infantry, those bastards. <laughs> ah, that guy's got a fancy outfit, though. It looks yes. like he's in his pajamas. It's a bugler. Oh, yeah, well, of course. Bugler gets to be in the pajamas. And here's our dragoons. Yeah. There's a dragon. Yee, dragon. All right, well, let's I'm go. I'm nearly as scary as Yeah, <laughs> they breathe fire. Oh, here, let's take one last look. Napoleon should be in here. I bet he's got shoes. Bastard. You want to see me breathe that's fire? That's him there. Hold my finger. That's Napoleon. Oh, that's right. He's younger. <laughs> well, he's younger. All right. I think that other guy was good. Glass hands to hold his finger. All right. Well, here, here he is holding nothing. Oh, there we go. He's holding something that looks like, and he does have boots, rather than give him to his troops. He's a general. <laughs> does he really need them? I ask you. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, actually, real quick, let's look at the shoes of our enemy. I've gotten really obsessed with this <laughs> shoes thing. <laughs> They're all very well, very well shot. Oh, uh, yes, it looks like it. Okay, well, at long last, I better go ahead and get going with this uh, battle here. All right, here we go. One of the unfortunate things for the Austrians, uh -huh. white uniforms. Yeah, that's true. It makes it easier to hit, doesn't it? 
very white uniform. Very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> they need the stylist. There's a there's a Nazi joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody's leaving. Oh, okay, that's the uh, artillery's getting set up. So now I'm bringing the columns up behind. So this is what you were saying. Is this the sort of strategy they would use? Is they would yeah, have they, a light line here followed by a column? Well, this is you're sending them through trees. This is not a good place to send the column. Oh, oh. You want to send the column along a road, and you want to send them along that road. This over road there. over here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, well, let's see. I'll go. Well, let's see. Uh, Get him in a line. General yeah, you're a Let's pause. Let's pause. Let's pause. Let's pause. Let's pause. Oh, do General Ballou is allow taking him to escape the field. on the far side of the river. Do not allow this escape. Ah, uh, well, it's good. Because, like you said, actually, uh, Napoleon has enough of an army to fight, not enough of an army to destroy. So our goal is going to get to be get across that bridge. This computer is really obsessed with us capturing this guy. So I'm getting all these guys on the road. Although, you, you were saying the Austrians were the ones using the road, whereas the uh, well, French were more... Well, see, the thing is, you have these guys in column. You don't, they can't fight through the trees in column like this. You need to get them where they can, they can use the column. The skirmishes are working through the trees very easily. Okay. The column, you're not going to be able to get... You're going to get bogged down real quick. All right, so I'll send the skirmishers through the trees and the, uh, and the regular infantry through... There we got the cavalry over on this side, and you can see the artillery is already firing and hurting them. So let's go ahead and keep on going. I could put it on fast motion and it would look like Benny Hill. Yeah. The Benny Hill uh, Napoleon battles. Oh, they don't like that building. Well, let's see. Yeah, they're. The Landwehr and everybody else, I think they're yeah. all going to the bridge. Yeah, they're yeah. going to the they they get, good, if they get pinned on this side of the bridge and the pulling has both sides, the bridge is over. Okay. We're going to try it. So we're sort of a foot right. So we're mm -hmm. going to try to get over there. Maybe I should send my guys running that. Hey! Oh, here we go. Alright. Run! Run! Run on your bare feet! Run like hobbits! All right. What should we be doing? Anything with our cavalry? Maybe harass them? Yeah, we want to get this. Get, get these this. guys over here. All right. Let's go get these guys here. Charge! Run up there and get them. Uh, let's see if we can't slow some of these guys down. I know they're grenadiers, but at least we can get them to, you know, line up. And then we'll send the light cav through the center, kind of like a linebacker. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Who's it? Put me right there. Oh, right. See what these guys on, are doing. on this other but side of the bridge. This is where the got large red mark is. Ooh, twelve. Yeah, that's. You I mean this red mark? That's where we are. And this is uh, heavy artillery, twelve pounder foot artillery, uh -huh. right by the bridge. Right by the bridge. Oh boy, we're not gonna. We're gonna want it. You know what I would like to recommend? Mm -hmm. We get some artillery right over here and start pounding with that. Yeah, that All would right. be that would be a good idea. All right, let's take these two things of artillery. What we need to do is get one of our get. One of our dragoon units to find one of the fords. Oh, okay. But we're gonna have to fight. But you need to. You're gonna have to get. And yeah, there's no fort over here. It's on the other side of the enemy, so you can't send them out there by themselves. But we got the light cav. I already have him running up here. There's the heavy cav is hitting here and here, and light cav will run in between, uh -huh. just like a little football movement over there, okay. and see if he can go around and get across yeah. that fort over there. And then let's see what else we got. So we got that. Oh wait, wait. We got this heavy artillery ready to guard there, and yeah. we got, I believe that's more, yep, that's artillery guarding that fort, so, ooh, we got some this. troubles here, right here in River City. Oh, and we have, the commander has gotten across. Mm -hmm. So, what were we going to say? Well, I think there's a secondary fort longer out of range of the, out of the, um, There is, way over here. That's so where I guess you need to go. All right, that'll be our goal. All right, going back over to uh, our command. The infantry is trying to run. It is definitely a foot race here. Oh, these guys did not get the order to run. So it's kind of a little bit of a mess here. Let's keep on going, boys. Oh, some of them just kind of reached their destination, I guess. Here, let's. They're, they're moving in lines. Yeah, they're in sort of a column, but they're kind of bunched up, is the problem. Oh, uh oh. 
Oh artillery. boy. Artillery's now they up. need to move into the city here. Yeah. Kind of go away from that. Uh, Get away from the riverbank. Yep. And we're going to run them all so that they don't, you know, get hit. Uh, and we do have the light infantry is firing at these guys. Oh, boy, looks like me. We're actually running right into them over there, too. But Oh, well, all right. And Napoleon himself. Oh, let's get that artillery placed. Yeah. All right. And luckily, light artillery, or uh, horse artillery, can be run. They can yeah. run it into place. So... We'll have them run over here. I have Napoleon himself is running into place. We're going in place, not running, but Napoleon does not run. Uh oh, oh, our light cab is actually getting. Uh, he was supposed to be running right past, and instead. Yes, they're bunching up in the. They're getting caught in the trees. They don't want to get them caught in the trees. Well, it's not so much they're getting caught in the trees, but they're getting caught in the landwear. Yeah. I hate when I get caught in the landwear. Yeah. It just ruins okay. my day. Mm -hmm. You need to turn the light cavalry right here. Oh, okay. Um, over this way? Yeah, turn them that way, get them out of, get them out of the, uh, yeah. from the land. Yeah, I'll, I'll move them directly away from it for now. All right, let's see what happens here. Ah, just kidding. Here's uh, some heavy cavalry. Oh, oh, you're okay. getting from behind, but the heavy cavalry's coming up and I'm getting them. All right, now the light cavalry's gonna come right on past because that we need them out in the open there. The heavy cavalry. It's going up with these grenadiers, but I don't know. That's if not gonna... a good job. That's no. not. That's not. They need to dismount and start shooting at them. Who's this up there in the hill? That looks like more landwehr. How about we go after more landwehr? No, no, no. no. They're, they're, they're they're pointless. All right. Oh, really? Just let them go? Yeah. All righty. We want to so... get. We want to get. We want to get the bridge. That's what we want. Oh, well, I was kind of trying to slow everybody down by making them turn around and have to deal yeah. with us. But they're too far away. The, uh, but these the, guys? No, uh, those guys. Are right, right, right. But what I mean is, maybe these we should guys. Charge. What do you think? Maybe we charge them instead of uh, dismounting, or do you want to dismount and go after the grenadiers? Uh, we need to go after the grenadiers. They are the best troops the Austrians have. All righty. So we'll, we'll go over here and dismount first. We we have to get into position. Uh, these guys are shooting. Sorry. Where is the? Where is our heavy? Uh, our grenadier? Oh, they're all still marching. They're the ones over here. So. Uh, it's it's all of these guys. Okay. So basically, what we're doing because we're getting hit by the artillery here, so we're gonna go running after them here. Yeah. We need to get these, we need to push these guys out right here. All right, that's where we're going. Should we? Is that, no, that's just not that. Now we have a choice right now. Should we charge into them or should we stop and fire at them? Charge into them. Charge into them. All right, we're going. Uh, let's see here. Charge. Well, yeah, it's, sometimes you just have to go through all everything. And, all right, running everybody into there. I mean, everybody else get behind this area so we don't. At least we're kicking up dust so we're not seen by the uh, artillery. That so helps. Well. That helps. Uh, yeah, because we man, we took some losses there. Look at that. Ooh, we took a few losses. All right. Uh, these guys need to get into place. You know, I can't help but thinking the world was probably lucky that only never qualified for an American Express card. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought that too. Because then he could have just, you know, got one of those black American Express cards, the yeah. American Express Black, no limit. He could have given everybody all the equipment they needed, and then we'd all be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I oftentimes think of the Napoleon uh, American Express uh, situation. I'm going to play a little and pause and play a little and pause because of the fact that we need to get our guys into place here. Okay, so these dragoons are getting into place and then they are going to... Oh. Well, they're not... I can't I'm go. not familiar with that maneuver. What's, what's, what's the O uh, For some reason, I can't dismount these dragoons. Is that the maneuver preceding the ship? <laughs> it, it is! You, you, so you've heard it. Yes. I, normally I hear it in combination. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes, one right after the other. Alright, so we have this cavalry. It's going to run right back as these guys and try to get to that ford that's back okay. there. Let me see. Yes, sir. You have this cavalry here. Yep. Where's, where's the dragoons? Dragoons are dismounting and fighting the grenadiers right in here. Okay. Okay. Move them up. And when they get these guys pinned, take the cavalry. 
cavalry and charge them from there. Oh, but this is the light cav that was uh, running around before. We do have this cavalry here. How about you okay. use them to charge their flank? Okay. There we go. So they're going to, because that's heavy cavalry, that's light cav over there. Uh, we meanwhile have these guys over here are charging in. They haven't quite reached there, they're almost there, so there we go. Let's just see what they have. So we were trying to stay away from them, maybe get away from some of the artillery. This one is. Yeah, that's the uh, fusiliers. Put your men there and start firing. Start firing. Alright, so they're heading over that direction. This is Grenadiers. Oh, so yeah, I have here Grenadiers. We'll come over here and protect that side. And, uh, yeah, everybody else is occupied. Oh, in fact, where's our artillery? Aha! Aha, artillery! We want to make sure they can shoot over there. Looks like they have a clean shot, so they're going to get this, uh, yeah, get themselves set up. And here we go. So, this is artillery. going to fire that artillery so we can have the bridge clear while these guys are going to pound the heck out of them. Oh, here's that bridge, that building's still burning. Oh, and here these guys have got themselves set up there. They're going to charge into here, into the flank. Is this light cavalry over here? I'm going to pause. Them. Yep, on the fort. So let's go ahead and run them over to this fort here. Oh. You know what? Maybe we should. Oh, yeah, no, they're, 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 they're running. Uh, Alright, let's watch this charge here. It's going to be kind of happy here. Oh, the land where tried coming and charging our cavalry. I didn't even realize that was happening. Alright, here we go. Taking out these grenadiers from the flank. Where? Oh, are they? Trying to form a square. Nope, they're turning. In fact, what I heard, and you can correct me on this, are, I heard the Austrians didn't do square. Oh, yeah. That is one mistake in the game, because they do, in the game, they allow them to form square. I figured we'll maybe mount these guys again. Yeah. What, were the Austrians too, too cool? Because <laughs> <laughs> one of the things is that. Form of square is, a, is even more difficult to maneuver. Yeah. The Austrian, they just weren't very good at this sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, they, they never won. <laughs> they just weren't good at this. Every time they get into war, they'd be like, man, we suck at this. And then they did. <laughs> So I can hear the calls going out now. Yeah. Blitz Square! Blitz Square! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can just see Wait, the comments. Which direction are you going? I'm going in this direction. <laughs> it's a little bit like what I look like right now, unfortunately. Oh, okay, so we've beaten them here, so let's go ahead and move these guys up here. Because we have these guys. Who, who are the schools? Those are Grinzers. Grinzers, Fusiliers, and Lenders. That's oh this one fusiliers. Fusiliers. Well now we have this road here. Do you think we should just run them up this road, or should we try to run them behind them over here? You need to put one 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 of your columns right there in the road. Yeah, that's this guy, and he's firing. And, and take another group around that way. All right. Okay, we got these guys. They're gonna all run up this way. Oops, no. See the thing you want to do the Napoleonic times. It's always trying to make the enemy try to fight two different direction. Always try to make an L yeah. on these guys. And that way you count them with infiltrating fire and they're gonna break. I remember the Napoleon uh, character on Sesame Street. This war was brought to you by the letter L. <laughs> oh I got you know what? I just thought of something. Once these guys uh, form into their skirmish line, how about we send them over to fire at these uh, artillery guys? Yeah, but uh, so we have them over here. Where's the Oh, okay, so bring them up here first. Yeah. And then there. Let's see here, hold on. Uh, oh. Sorry. My bad. And. Alright, then bring them over here. Yep. Alright. And 
So meanwhile, their artillery is firing at them too, and we have this light uh, infantry that's going to go along with this pole. So what time of day is this taking? Yeah, this is uh, historic. This is historic at around 7 in the morning. Of course it did, right around rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> There's some poor guy that's like cowering in his, cowering in his house going, Dang it, the boss is never going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've tried that excuse before. There was a Napoleonic yeah. battle happening outside my apartment in Burbank. Why don't you ever believe me? Sometimes these battles we don't want to it since it was summer. Sunday went out to 10 o'clock. Man. Alright, so uh, we've just not... Oh, the sun is shining. Uh, these guys up, we're going to go ahead and charge them on into the... Uh, Grenadiers as well. Actually, let's put them over here in the charge man. Uh, these guys are running around the side, and these guys are pinning them down there and firing while they are trying to get across that bridge. And we have this infantry still moving up. These guys are trying to get into position to make them running. They're going to get over here and fire that artillery, and we still have this artillery firing here. But let's watch over here so we can get this all set up correctly. Okay, the Lambers are coming down from the dome. Yeah. So we definitely don't want them to get us in our rear here. Let's go ahead and get us in our rear. Really? Lambers are going to get Oh, there we go. Oh, pause this. This is not the Greek one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so, ah, that's good. <laughs> so, so we just, we've defeated these Grenadiers. What do you think? And we have two units of uh, heavy cavalry. What should we do? Should we go after the uh, land bearer or should we yeah. pull them back? Take the, uh, the strongest group uh -huh. and move them up so they can, they're coming downhill, so they're going to have the momentum. So you're going to leave the weakest one right there and move the, the strongest one up so you can get them from the side. All right, here we go. Got to move that there. He's running over there. The weaker one should I wish be. you had some troops and some, some, some infantry. We do have them back here. Oh, here we go. Here, you have what grenadiers do? Yeah, the Grenadiers will do just fine. Alright. How about? Speaking of the Great, does anyone else think it's slightly hysterical? I'm getting a shaft. Yeah, they got it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull these Grenadiers back. I uh, mean, this uh, cavalry Grenadier back, though, so that they. Can you rest up? Yep. And so they don't get quite as much shaft as the Greeks. Uh, the there we go. Alright, land bears coming down. We do not want these guys. What the heck? Oh, the generals who you is leaving the field. Oh. Catch him! Capture him! Kill him! He must not be allowed to escape. Oh, it looks like they're breaking for lunch. Yeah, it's they basically he's escaping now, so it's just like, well, I don't really care. Uh, Where's that camera that was going across? Yeah, that's a good question. You know what? It might have pulled us away right when they were in their most dire of situations. Because I don't see the good way they know. That's our camp. This is still in the cities. Yeah, where'd that, because that cavalry was going to move around here, and I see a bunch of dead horses. I think, <laughs> you know what, I think while it was telling us that useless information, our cavalry got killed. That's annoying as hell. Good grief. Let's see. Boy, is this that, what's that group over there? Quote Lord of the Rings. Meets back on the menu, boys. <laughs> yeah. That's your team you're treating Rinzers. That is There weird. they are. There well they that's are. that's a light cavalry that's, that's going that, around. But, oh, you've been wondering about that. Yes. Now yeah. where's the general? Here's him right there in that star. Uh, is it, yeah, oh no, star is over here. So we'll okay. we'll catch him here. Get him over there and get him over there. Actually here. And take it. He's gonna go out that hill there. Alright. I am just really ticked off about those Dragoons, though, because they were getting into position to flank charge, and suddenly they got attacked while the screen was like, Oh, no! All right, I'm going to move these guys back here. Can you tell I'm kind of ticked? <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to just get these guys so they can fight against them. Meanwhile, we should probably, like you were saying, move on the... Oh, hey, there's a bunch of... Here, we got... Uh, Austrians in our front. I know what we can do when Austrians are in our front. Destroy them. Yep, exactly. And have the rest of these guys charge into here. I figured charging them is better than just dunning and shooting. Alright. 
See, I'm so used to the uh, American Civil War, I think of shooting rather than charging. Well, yeah, the American Civil War. It's, you have to understand that the range on the muskets are only 70 meters. Yeah. Meters, and so, nine times out of ten, charging is the best. Thing. Yeah. So, but in the Civil War, you had the, uh, the uh, effective right. range was 200 meters. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Were you well, I was just going to say, this is just turning into such an awesome battle uh -huh. that to really give it the gravitas that it deserves, I think every every comment we make from now on out should be done in our operating voices. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Troy! <laughs> Let's see, what are you doing? The bones at that time only had a 70 millimeter, 70 meter range. 70 millimeter? I, I'd like to see that battle, actually. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh. It ain't over till the short general sings. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make you the short general? <laughs> Alright, let's see these Hey now! <laughs> hey -o. Are they across? Yep, and they are going to run at that general who's general trying to Baloo. escape. General Baloo. General Baloo. Hey, what is that song from the Jungle hey, Book? See, you see, he's not the, he's not the namesake of Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. He's going to try to go down this road and we're going to try to cut him off. Ha ha! Holy smoke! That's the building. Oh man, we just keep hitting that building. You know, they're not supposed to be shooting at the building. Oh well. Well, the thing is about the it. Is, no, I'm <laughs> paying off the mortgage this week. No. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And meanwhile, his insurance guy is walking over, going, "Sorry, acts of war aren't covered." <laughs> <laughs> now, what's really going on is there. There's a lot of people's mortgages in that building. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bank. Oh, the burn, baby burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So charging into there while they're shooting it from the side. They're going to be taken down here. Oh, there was a lot of screaming and yelling. Give me your shoes! Give me your shoes! Basically, that's what happened. Now. They, they took the shoes off dead bodies. Yeah, I'd imagine. As long as they have their sides. All right, well, they just broke. Shall we charge them right into the next one? No, just keep on? No, no, nope. no, 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 no. All right. They need, to, they need to reform. All right. You can't because they, they, need, they need to reform. Yeah, these aren't, uh... How these aren't skirmishers, right? No, they're not skirmishers. But you need to, but you... As long as you can break these guys, and you keep them... Is that flying fair? Yeah. The German yeah. So. so... And they're still continuing to stand there and shoot, so they're just, that's just kind of exchanging fire. Oh, and these guys are still going over here to try to take on that, uh, um, artillery man. Who are these guys? That is, they formed up a few sleers. Land okay, there. they're trying to hold the bridge. Yep. They're going to try to hold the bridge. That's why you need to reform the guys over here, and they got... What are these guys doing? They're shooting their own building. Their men are in oh, the no, building. No, no, they're, they're, yeah, they're in the building, and it's our guys that shoot. You see this artillery that's oh, over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they're the ones who are supposed to be shooting at their artillery, but instead they're shooting at the building. And I'm like, no, the artillery does. But well, they're, they're, at least they're softening them up. I suppose. Yeah, they're softening them up and they're clearing. They're clearing that blockhouse. So that's a there's a lot of soldiers up in up in those upper floors. You know, what? I just realized I left some artillery back here. I need to bring them up here in a second. Okay. Way back at the beginning. These okay. guys are still sitting here. Then bring these guys right up the main force with that, 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 that group of, uh, who just pushed off those, uh, ladder. Uh huh. Bring them up there and then blast that next one coming up behind them. Alrighty, sounds good. Uh, for now, let's, though, let's take a quick look at these guys way across, see if they're gonna be able to capture that. General looks like it. Yep, they're gonna cut them off. We'll go ahead and get on that road and then come and get them. As soon as we have that, then I'll go back and check the other thing. I always am worried that, uh, you know, while I'm working in one place, something's happening. So, ooh, a little ambush here. Nice. That's exactly what we want to do. All right, first I'm going to pause and take us back over there so we don't, like, lose another unit. Let's, like let's, let's give a good look at what our, what our people are doing. Sorry. There we go. So he's still moving up into place. To, to, oh, but there's no artillery for them to shoot. So okay. they're instead going to set up for firing here, you know? Yeah, get them over there. And we can start putting, put them in, we can blast these guys right here. Alright. Make sure you've got infantry to protect that infantry uh, artillery. Now, to, to impress upon people watching this, and just how brilliant Napoleon is, understand that everything we're looking at in the 3D simulation, top down, he was doing it in his head. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because he's his whole point of view, 
is from wherever he is. The, from the seat of a horse. Yeah. yeah, he's here. So all he sees is this. So his ability to actually have in his head what, what's going on, where, and the timing of the, the effective timing of the problem. All inside one guy's head. Yep. That's amazing. And he, he's the last general that can actually look at a single battlefield and know what's going on. Because in his in his career, army groups of people were formed up where they were hundreds of miles from him. And he couldn't he couldn't control them. But while he was on the battlefield, he could just look over the battlefield and know what place, where to put his where to put his troops. Other guy was likely to do with the same geography, and so it was. Uh, and one of the things is his training as an artillery took him uh, studying geography, and yeah. so that, that helped him immensely. And that's how he was just being brilliant at this. In that regard, I would draw a comparison between Patton and Patton. Yeah, yeah. Patton was another guy that I think did an exceptional job of looking at the battlefield. And understanding how to position his men. And again, yeah, like you were saying, Pat also had a keen understanding or idea of what the other guy wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's one of the major parts of was knowing what he did, figuring your enemy out, figuring out his likely moves, and then beating him to it. Or luring him into doing what you want him to do. And of course, uh, you know, he also had a good understanding of how to pause the game at the right place. Don't that too. By the way, I found our lost dragoons. <laughs> They've been standing here getting shot by their uh, grenadiers. Yes, I'm as brilliant as Napoleon. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our light cavalry though, because they're about to accomplish this whole uh, goal thing. Uh, the cavalry, general. Okay, Jeff, you're calling. <laughs> you know what, what I heard, and you can tell me if this is right, that he actually wasn't short. It was that the British and the French measuring systems were different. And so when you say the, you know, the size, according to British size, that would be smaller, but according to French, it was actually almost normal size. Like almost well, size. everybody was normal size. You see, things, we have, this is an idea that people later in life, uh, how short he was, uh, Admiral Nelson was the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, they were both fine, too. They, they, you see, a tall person in this period was 5'7". Oh, okay. That was that was what they called the big guys. Oh. They was 5'7". So he was average height. No, oh. <laughs> you know most people were tiny. Right. Yeah, when you in, and you look at uh, when I was doing costumes, I saw we got some costumes from uh, a dress from a woman from 1902, and she was this big. Okay. And, this was, she was a normal sized person for 1902. Huh. And so 5'2 is short for us. Yeah. But, so just to make sure I'm understanding, to help me feel better about myself. <laughs> so this guy was a brilliant general, strategist, uh, uh, emperor. Yeah. Uh, average height for his time. Yeah. But compared to us, small people. Yeah. Yes, well, well, we're gonna, that's what we're going to go for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel much better. All yeah. right. Seeing a small penis, we're going to go charge into these guys. Yeah. Probably should have. Oh, actually, it's the imagination. So let's go see what our favorite yeah, is. This is the light cavalry. How? How? Oh, yes. oh, nice. They shot him. Oh, and they got him. General has been killed. Yeah, they shot him down, but now they're charging him. Yes. All right, so while that's happening, let's target over here. We just charge into some people over here. Oh, they're still running at them. Oh, and he's charging after that cat. That there's artillery that's over here. They're about to the capture. These guys are about to yep. The capture. This is grenadiers going after them. There's regular infantry going after. Oh, they finished that, so I better pause and then move it in. Sorry to the audience. They normally, I don't pause these games so often, but we're trying to get this in, like semi-historical and you know trying to be like Napoleon is quite difficult. Yeah. So all right, I'm gonna move up to there and move these guys up behind them so that we make sure, because I'm trying to make this like at least close to what it would have been historically, so you know, oh, and we just caused them to route, so now these guys can start moving up here, and there's cavalry that we had, where is this, oh, okay, here we go, and I think I saw some artillery way back here, it, uh, oh, no, what's that, oh, oh, okay, that's, that's some of our vendors haven't gotten across yet, so okay, so that's fine, uh, so we'll start, where do you want to bring, we have now this, uh, what are they called, uh, dragoons, 
we have them now, like, not really doing anything. We want to okay, do. Okay, how bad, how badly beat up these? Oh, they're routing now. They're, they're basically going. Okay, away. Well, we need to bring them. We need to, uh, um, who's weak? Where, where's the there's a, there's a city. Uh, we really don't have a weak point this one. Hey, here's the bridge, and we're, we got the infantry pushing up to the bridge. Now, at this point. Uh, okay, anyway. we need to get them into a position where they can, if they're, if they're weak enough, uh -huh. to break across that bridge. All right. So how about, let's put them up. Uh, let's put them back Give here. Give them a clear, yeah, oh, yeah. clear route. There's there clear we go. Route right there. Make sure that we can't get hit by that uh, yeah. artillery, though. All right, so we'll bring them up here. Uh, you're, got tar you're getting them over there, but in terms of game, game mechanics, how do we know they're going to take them in front of the road? Uh, well, they, they'll take the easiest, so it could be yeah, over this way, this way. Okay, so they're not going to haphazardly walk each other. No, no, no. Or at least, well, they, they could if there was anybody along this path, if there isn't anybody. They, at least we know they won't go, like, way over here. Now watch them actually do that. I, they, they shouldn't, according to the game. But you can't sit, wait, you see, and sorry folks, this is my, I haven't particularly played this game, so you can't sit, wait for uh, oh, you can actually. I, it's just uh, at this point because they're not in the way. I I, I wasn't bothered. Not gonna bother. okay. Yeah, but there is. Yeah, you can actually be like this, this. Like if I want to do a zigzag kind of thing. But okay. uh, let's see here. So we have this artillery. Too. Oh yeah, we wanted to bring this artillery up here. Can you make them do two two circles? And then... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh here. Bring the artillery here, and we also want and these guys. We want, we want to knock down this building. Yep. Knock that building down and get those ushers out. Yeah. So these guys need to knock down that building. Man, if I had a Deutsch for every time I heard that. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Bring this building down. Gorbachev, tear this building down. Ooh, we just caused them to route. Yeah. And look at that, we just destroyed the building. Yep. Literally one, one sit thing. So, next let's ask for our state, red state player. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm going to interject here. Out on YouTube is a is a German commercial that if you haven't seen, it's absolutely hysterical. Look for Ger Google or Google. YouTube search German Coast Guard. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, meanwhile, I'm going to have these guys charge into them to stop them from moving across that bridge. Where is the, where is the, our, where's their artillery? Oh, the artillery, we had it over here, they just... No, their artillery. Oh, their artillery? The one that was over here on this side of the bridge. Oh, yo, that's destroyed. They, okay, Some guys destroyed. ran up and got it. Okay, these good, guys. good. All right, we need to route these guys here. All right. Get them. There we go. So yeah, he's running that the after and they're running from the other side as well. <laughs> I think they sound good. I think they use that exact sound effect. Like. Keep the pressure on. Oh, we got light cavalry up here, and they got nice. Better than my other soundtrack. Uh, uh. What happened to that general? Let's see what happened. Again. Oh, he's gone. He was it basically like intruded his body. He's like over here somewhere. Oh, zoom That's in. What happened. Zoom in. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Where is he? Here, I'm pause it so we can find him. Ah, uh, he's in here somewhere. He has. He's the one with the big hat. Oh, they all kind of have big hats, though. To compensate for, you know. Yeah. <laughs> His boot size. Let's see. General Horse? I don't know. He's somewhere in here. Well, he's down. Yeah, he's definitely down. Ooh, that guy's doing like a dance thing. He's under his horse. That guy's doing, he's like, whoa. They all have those poofy hairdos. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and keep on going here. Okay, where's what's what's right over here on our side? On our side, side of the bridge. Uh, infantry is running. In the Look at that, they're all running. Okay, we need to get somebody okay. over here on this side of the bridge now. All right. We need to get yep. somebody over there. Grenadiers. And get these guys, the light cavalry, to push these guys away from the bridge. All right, light cavalry is taking out their artillery, and now it's coming okay, over here. Good, good. That's good. Run, run. This is <laughs> I think we just routed them everywhere. Yep, we have routed them everywhere. We have won this battle. Yeah. Come on, minions. It. Come on, minions. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for all. Thanks for watching. We're gonna next up, Russia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a good campaign. Well, we'll see what, what the next battle is. Happy gaming, everybody.